even more so than health, I think controlling the food supply is probably the best way that you control people. If you control when and what they can eat, you know, if you have food shortages, the first thing that comes to mind is that there will be riots. Um, I, I suppose that the state will mm. then come in and say, oh, we need to prevent those. So we need equal distribution of food. And they never lay the blame with themselves, of course, even though they are the ones that are cutting the cattle farms. They're the ones that are taking our farmers' land away. No, instead, they'll say it's Putin doing this all to us. It's climate change that is causing the crops to go bad. And oh, by the way, you ordinary man, you civilian, you have to pay for it and you have to give up your rights and you have to eat crickets from now on and you have to stay in your room and you just have to sh up and... Uh, <laughs> Say exactly what we want you to say. Do you think people are going to put up with that? I mean, the thing about politics, you, you and I have talked about freedom of speech and freedom of religion and uh, freedom of movement. They can all seem pretty abstract to people unless you're actively involved in political debate. But food is about as basic as it gets. Do you think people are really going to put up with being told you can't have roast beef, you got to eat crickets? Well, I would say that wars have been started for less. But then again, I don't have a lot of confidence in the ordinary person. As you said, they all gave up their rights in a second when they heard a nice pretext for it during COVID. Well, there, of course, are thinkable, nice pretexts for all of the rights that we're now losing, including mm. if you would lose your foods. If they say it's absolutely necessary for the climate, like what they do now with the farmers, you see that a lot of people, for some reason, just seem to accept that and believe it. But thankfully, our Dutch farmers don't. They know that they are not the problem and mm. they know they're being targeted for another reason. So that's why they're still, we're almost three weeks in now, they're still actually protesting, they're still fighting. And I do think that the support in the Netherlands, but also internationally, is growing for them because people are starting to see, hey, wait a minute, this is not just something that happens to the Dutch farmers. Now Trudeau is doing it too. Hmm, that 2030 agenda doesn't sound all that great for me.